One, two, one, two, three, go! Backhand, hip check. We're up in my cabin on Balsam Lake in Wisconsin. We've been here eight years. We love it up here. We're up here pretty much every weekend in the summer, and it's kind of our escape, our, our happy place. We love it up here. I think he's showing off for the camera right now. It's just our magic place every summer. It's our happy place. We come home, and this is just where we want to be every weekend when we can. Just our calming getaway from life for a couple days. If this ain't right, then I don't know what it is. After all, we only got one life. Very low key, we do a lot of cooking. Um, we like entertaining, we have people up here almost every weekend, you know, a lot of family, and basically all about food and, and hanging out and being on the water, so we're outside a lot. This ain't right, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is it. Just kind of big great room is where everyone hangs out. Do a lot of cooking right here. Flip the fire on at night, and everyone just kind of sits around here and talks. And this is probably our favorite room out here. Get a fire going and we're out here pretty much every night. Throw the screen down, stay out of the way of the mosquitoes. This is, I mean, we're pretty much out here all the time. Kids, kids will do chalk, we'll just chill out here pretty much all day. We'll do lunch out here. Maybe you guys could show them the basement. Down here, there's little guest bedrooms where people stay. And then there's the basement. We just call this the kids' room. Did you guys take this room over? Yep. We got the kids' room in here. It's got their bunk beds. They're pretty excited about these. Roman, Roman gets the top and meals on the bottom. And then we got our room over here. Nice view, set way up high here. It's kind of like you're in a tree house or something. And this is kind of cool. My grandma, she paints, she made this after uh, we won the cup in Pittsburgh. It's just kind of like a abstract. Got the warming shack here from, from this rink, uh, Southwest rink, the rink I grew up on. And it's kind of cool. It's the outdoor rink, net and the trees back there and then little Stanley cup sitting up here. Very nostalgic picture of basically my childhood. It's where you grow up up north for sure. I grew up in Grand Rapids. Awesome town, awesome place to grow up. Um, you know, kind of perfect size. You got all your friends, you grow up, go to school, play hockey, football, baseball, you're all doing the same thing. And it's just, it's an awesome community. I grew up playing hockey in the outdoor rink. It's right by Southwest Elementary. I mean, it was every night in the winter. That's all I wanted to do was, was go up to Southwest rink and, and play. And, that's definitely where I kind of fell in love with the game. We had pizza delivered up there a couple times for all the kids. Um, because none of them wanted, that's where the kids went back then. They had big games going. They could never leave because they were all, you know, just starting a game. It was kind of the same five or six kids. And they were the ones that were always there. And as they moved up each level, those, those were the ones that really excelled. This was in the basement. They put um, duct tape on the wall for a goal. And of course in the driveway, that was from high school. He was number seven in high school. And he was uh, Mr. Hockey finalist. So in 90, 1996, that's I think the oldest one that I have. Highlights from the section final game versus Duluth East. That was always a huge rivalry, Grand Rapids and Duluth East. His highlights are on VHS. We don't have his highlights on YouTube yet. <laughs> Defenseman Alex Galagowski has already got 12 goals. I think he had 33 points or something last year. Well, he's there. He's their best player. There's no question about that. He always wanted to be a Thunderhawk. I think it kind of started his 10th grade year. He jumped right up on the roster and he scored his first high school game. He, he put the puck in the net and you could tell that it was going to be something special. There were only a handful of times that he 
ever got beat on a one-on-one. -on -one. It was amazing. Uh, he could poke check the puck so well, and then it was going the other way. I think growing up in Grand Rapids, every kid dreams of putting on that orange and black sweater, you know. I think Grand Rapids High School Hockey is still the only program in the state that has season ticket sales. I've never seen a town that supports hockey like Grand Rapids, and I, I've never seen a barn that gets packed like ours does for high school hockey games. As a junior, a guy who has an opportunity to be back next year, what have the seniors on this team meant to the underclassmen like yourself this year? The seniors have just been awesome. I had the hockey hair. I, I mean, you have to, right? If you're playing Minnesota high school hockey, you gotta, you got to have something going on. We lost my junior year, and then I came back, you know, my senior year. That was kind of the goal. I wanted to get down to that state tournament, but yeah, that one stung. I mean, he's pretty proud, I think, of where wow. he's from. He came back for his senior year when he could have, well, he was pressured to go. That was like a struggle for him because he was being pulled in different directions from coaches that wanted him to come and play that year, and he thought hard about it, but he really wanted to stay. Stay and play with the guys he's played with. His whole life. His whole life. And, uh, and, and make that run to get to the state tournament. And they fell in overtime just short. Playing with all your buddies, you know, you, you kind of, you get over the, the losses and stuff. It would have been awesome to get down to the state tournament, but high school hockey, it's the best. You know, I think anyone you ask that, that's been through it, they'd say the same thing. This is a snake skin. So snakes shed their skin. Do you want to touch it? It's not a snake. It's just the skin of the snake. Hey, go show mom. Mom, I'm fr freak her out. <laughs> that is amazing. We live in Minneapolis right now, so to get out here in nature and you know we're just we're outside all the time and you know for them. You know, we're flipping over rocks, looking for worms to go fish in, and out on the boat all day. It's, you know, that's, that's how I grew up. So it's, uh, it's fun to see them get to experience that. There's a lot of fishy that that we catch over there. My oldest, our boy Roman, is very sweet, sensitive. You're using a hockey stick to get it over grass. Really smart, calculated in everything he does. Remember, you got to sauce it. There you go. Roman is very into hockey. He watches every play. He probably knows more about the game than I do. Ooh, nice shot. He started to skate a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I'm learning how to put on all the gear when dad's gone. <laughs> I had to be coached a few times over FaceTime when he was on the road last year. <laughs> Our girl Mila, who's three and a half, is just a spitfire. It's a... That's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> She's wild and she just you know, she's kind of crazy. She's always got something going on. Um, a little less calculated and a little more just, sh she'll go and do whatever. Mila is just along for the ride. She's she's there for the popcorn. Ride on my leg. So we're gonna go cruise on the lake um, and then we'll get the kids out on the tube and we'll rip them around. I'll try to toss them off. I'm gonna get you off the tube this time. Yeah, I am. we're up here we really don't do anything it's a pretty boring life but it's great it's a good break from everything especially once you get get into the season and everything it's, it's such a crazy life you know you're traveling all the time and away from away from home away from the kids and the wife and it's so nice we can get up we just get up here and it's like kind of escape with each other so it's awesome yeah yeah, yeah. should we go in yeah okay Yeah, we better do that. Four, three, two, one, go. Ah! They both love the boat. They're both very adventurous, so, which is nice. They, you kind of have to be up here. They, they like getting on the boat, on the tubes, and screwing around, whatever it, whatever it may be. She's kind of on his hip the whole time, doing whatever he's doing. Cannonball! <laughs> 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 
I got you. He's an incredible dad. Even with his busy schedule, he I know he's tired, comes home at 2 a.m. from long road trips, and he's up early with the kids. He wants to spend that time with them. He goes above and beyond to make his time that he has very special to be with the kids. They're the sweetest kids. They, they love each other, and it's fun to watch. All right, I'm waiting. What do you say? gets nervous when I start going too fast, so she usually makes me slow down. But maybe I'll get him next time. Mila, are you done? I was so hard. <laughs>
I've got hot mic right now. All right, let's go. Welcome to Minnesota, baby. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, with you. A little heavy. You want to start too fast. Oh, nice play, nice play. Woo! Time, time. Wow. We'll go for a connection. Second half team here. We got to set you loose here. Oh, what a play! Not our night tonight, 10 to 3 loss. Nothing really went right out there. That's one you burn the tape, you go home, and you forget about it. We got to show up next week. You know, we probably needed that. It was probably that time of the season where we get a humbling loss and you come out better for it, and we ended up winning the whole thing. So it's the John Scott Cup, I think. I think it's a grill. I don't know if they're doing days with the John Scott Cup, but I definitely would. I'd probably bring it up here, and well, I think it's a functioning grill, so maybe do some dogs on it or something. Crosby's got the puck, holds it, looking for somebody to come open. Back to Golubowski, he scores! And what a shot! He played one year in the minors and played well and got a little taste of it. And then the next year, he uh, played uh, quite a bit because uh, Sergey Gonchar had an injury and Ryan Whitney had an injury, so Alex got to play and they turned out they won the Stanley Cup that year. Here's a Goligoski in the slot as Rister, he scores! I was wearing number 13 for no other reason than I was a young guy on the pro team and you don't really get your pick of numbers. And then when I got called up to Pittsburgh, I was wearing 13 and then we traded for, for Billy and he came in and no questions asked as, you know, the trainers came up to me and it's like, hey, we just traded for Gary and he's number 13. It's like, perfect, you gotta pick a new number then. He didn't have it for very long after I got there but he was very gracious in giving up his number for me. Now Garen in on goal, one on one, the shot he scores! It wasn't like I was a massive part of the team, you know, I, I chipped in a couple games in playoffs and, you know, during the regular season I, I played a bunch, but just to, you know, your first taste of the NHL to see what the time and effort and the focus that goes into it and the camaraderie with the guys when you, you go through, you know, a battle and a grind like that and you do, you get that ultimate prize. It's amazing, I'll, I'll never forget that year. <laughs> In 2009, it was one of the best teams I was ever on, team-wise. You know, we were a good team on the ice, but we were very tight-knit, and we could say the hard things to each other. We did the hard things on the ice that, that made us good. And, you know, for, for Alex, I think it was, as a young player, it, you know, it, it's very valuable to be around because you take that experience with you in your career. It is a lot of, uh, you know, kind of childhood dreams and stuff you imagine in your head and, you know, you're at the outdoor rink and you win a game and you act like you're lifting a cup or whatever, but really a, a, a surreal moment for sure. Probably the coolest thing for me was seeing all the people come out just to see it and get their picture taken with it and how cool that is for such a good, you know, hockey community. My son was six years old at the time and got an autograph and was just in awe to be able to see Alex. It's huge to have a role model like that. The kids really care about this community and they want to give back. And that was something my son Jack always said. He, he wanted to pursue that and he wanted to be a good role model for all the little guys coming up. I think that's what's cool about Grand Rapids. It's, uh, you know, for instance, if you look at the wall behind you, there's 10 or 11 guys that have gone on and played in the NHL. And I think it's good motivation for the kids in our youth program to look at players like Alex and um, you know, realize that it's not just a dream, it can be a reality.
backhanded by East behind the net. Center pass, they score! Goligowski, the defenseman. Held in by Arizona. Goligowski, and he fires it off the post into the net. When the Coyotes made the playoffs two years ago, and they were in the bubble up in Edmonton, and then the Wild was there, Alex is in the bubble, and, and it's all closed off with everyone. He said, every time I turned around, it was like I bumped into Billy Garrett. Well, here's some big news out of NHL free agency. The Minnesota Wild have signed defenseman Alex Goligoski to a one-year deal. It appears the ties between Alex and his old teammate Bill Guerin are still strong today because Guerin's bringing back the Grand Rapids native. He'll be back in the state of hockey. Everyone has that desire to play for their home state at some point. You know, I think it's a great fit for me, and I'm really excited. We've really worked on the culture here, and he's a guy that I think can continue to help us build. And the fact that he's from Minnesota too, it's nice when you have guys that want to come back and play here. That was kind of number one for me was I wanted to play on a good team and make a run at it and just so happened to be a team from my home state. Coming home and being able to play Grand Rapids, Gophers in the wild now, I just think we never actually realized how important it was until he signed here. We'd been gone for a long time, for 10 years. We've been playing in different cities and always came home in the summer. And we didn't realize how important home was until he signed here. Being close to family and being close to like who you are and coming back to roots, it really is important. I'm at a point in my career where all I want to do is win and that's the goal. That would be the apex of the career for sure and to do it in Minnesota would be unbelievable. I'm a proud Minnesotan, I love it here. You know, we're going to live here forever probably and it's our home. Thank you.